right, so here's a little update on the, how the garden's doing. Potato plants. I've got a pumpkin growing through here. One quick little thing here. I planted a patch of milkweed for the monarchs and there's a bunch of caterpillars in there. Which is good for them because I guess I, I heard that their numbers are really low and they're on the endangered species list. Alright, here's the beets. They are doing awesome. Oh. I can get in there. There's a great big one here. There we go. And I like to just boil them up a little bit and cut them up and eat them like that. Real simple. Here's the cabbage plants. And look at these tomatoes. Got a bunch of them on there. Another one. Here's my giant sunflower. Let's see, I remember which kind of tomato plant that is. Oh, the peas. I've been harvesting and harvesting. I have a ton of these. And I got some more to come out and get. And a little pumpkin growing there. Cherry tomatoes. So those are doing really good. There's a horseradish plant. That thing is huge. And my spinach is all done. It's producing little seed pods now. And I got morning glories in here for the bees. They love it. And my lettuce. Oh, uh, I can still see. I still can eat some of this lettuce here. But it's getting to the end. And the colliards, look at the size of these leaves. These are pretty big. It kind of reminds me of a kale plant. This is the first year I've grown these. And here's the beans. I got morning glories also growing in there with them. Got some sunflowers right there. This is my little walkway. Right here.
and I did harvest some of these already. Ah, look, see, here we go. Right there. Is that ready to... This is how we like to eat them when they're about this size. Another tomato plant. Oh, and my peppers. Here is, yeah, this is my basil. It smells wonderful. Oh, that smells so good. And I use this one in my spaghetti sauce. Love it. Let's see. Turn around here. Yep, those are yellow peppers. And there's another one. Yellow peppers. Got some more over here. There's another cabbage plant. Hang on. I, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm using a gimbal and not quite used to it yet. Yeah, pepper here. I believe these Anaheim. These are the Anaheim peppers. This one is California Wanderer. Right there. It's in there. And the onion patch. My little onion patch there. More pumpkins. Let's see. Come down here. Got another pepper. And that one is a, yep, another yellow. Anaheim chili, Anaheim chili. And there's a few of them on there. They're real small right now. This one. is I believe a green nope that's a red that's supposed to be a red or a sweet pepper that's a sweet pepper now these are growing right into the yard makes it hard to mow but that's all right Those big, beautiful yellow blossoms. We got a pumpkin growing there. Now, this here's a cucumber, you can tell by the leaf. You can see the difference between the pumpkin and the cucumber. And the cucumber leaf is fuzzy. Feels like it's got little hairs on it. Well, I guess they are. This one's more like a sandpaper. This one's a little bit more softer. But this year, here's a cucumber. Because we like to make pickles. There's a good. This year has been really. Here's another one. Ooh, look at this. I have struggled with the cucumbers. Not a good year for me with cucumbers. I don't know why, yeah, but it is what it is. I planted it, planted them twice, 
thought I planted them too early and the ground was not warm enough. Um, but even, even after planting them twice, uh, still didn't get the results I wanted. I got a few more plants, but usually I do really well with cucumbers, so it is what it is. <laughs> Here's a big old pumpkin. The kids love these. Oh, what's this? Something hiding in here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm wondering, ooh, I'm gonna have a lot of pumpkins. I'm wondering if I'm gonna find a a butternut squash in here somewhere. There's another pumpkin. You can see that there. Oh, focus. There we go. Leaf out of the way. I'm not seeing any. Oh my goodness, folks. We've got a lot of pumpkins. I'm seeing a lot. Got a tractor going by. There's another pumpkin. Another pumpkin. Oh. Ooh. Uh, that noise you just heard, if you heard it on camera, I believe that was the tractor going by hitting the signs on the bridge. Not good. They've already had to repl replace those. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting vlog. Oh. As you can see, this is a cucumber leaf. Again, a lot softer. And you got the bright, broader, wider, different leaf shape. The pumpkin. Oh, let's see. Yeah, there's another pumpkin. Oh. Hide in there. I if I can get it. Can I get it? There we go. Another one. Okay. Oh, what's this? Look at the size of this cucumber. I don't know if any of you out there like them like this big, but that's a big cucumber. Yep, I think it's time to come out here and harvest some of these and make some pickles. If I can find a bunch of the smaller ones. I mean, I can use these bigger ones, but once they get, once they start getting really big, they get uh, full of seeds and kind of uh, they don't taste the same. I mean, you can make the slivers and you can cut them up. I got a few more here. Bigger ones. I just prefer the smaller ones. Baby dills. I don't see any butternut squash yet. Hmm. Well, I know there's something in there. Might have to go on the other side. But yeah. Let's see. Get a look at it. You know, and I don't mind uh, having everything so close together because actually they do really good together you don't you don't need a lot of space to grow a lot of vegetables they do well together the problem is is when you start getting the pumpkin the pumpkins going off into the yard it makes it kind of hard to mow
the peppers, tomato, and the beans. Uh, we're gonna go in here and see if we can find a, ooh, look at this. Carrots, right here. hiding underneath all these pumpkin leaves if you can see but they'll do just fine hmm But yeah, that's how things are going. Here I put a fence up for the grapevine. Just something I had in the shed. Use what I have. It's still pretty small. I'm hoping it does well through the years. And I suppose if it does, if it does take off pretty well and gets big, I'll just build onto this. Morning glories, beautiful flowers. These are zinnias and gladiolas. The long, beautiful. That's a gladiola. Those are those bulbs I have to plant in the spring and dig up in the fall because they, where I live, it's too cold. I can't leave them in the ground. Now when the when it gets to be around noon, the morning glories will actually they they twist and roll up they close at that time so morning is a really good time to to make this video so i can show you what they look like some more zinnias i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but you enjoyed the vlog just a quick little tour through the garden again show you how everything is growing have a good day and if you're interested in starting a garden go ahead try it I remember the first time I when I first started gardening I didn't know anything about gardening and I just built on um, learning as I went and watching other YouTube videos and um, I, I did uh, I was friends with a lady who was a master gardener and she she showed me some stuff that um, really really helped me I just hope that if you want to start a garden don't be afraid just give it a try it gets you outside into nature put your hands in the dirt if you know anything about grounding um, it's 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 good for your body it's good for your soul that's why I like doing it so take care out there Bye now.